In just the past year, there has been an explosive surge in all things transgender and drag. Like cocaine bear, culture is being taunted, bullied, threatened, and consumed by a movement of less than 2% of the population. One has to wonder what has fueled this sudden eruption to bring all humanity under the rainbow trans progress pride flag. In an excellent video with Jennifer Bielek on YouTube, and I'll post the link below, she rightly identifies the source of the swell. We all heard the conspiracies during the COVID-19 pandemic that Big Pharma was in bed with big government with the idea of owning and dominating the world. There were choruses of New World Order and One World Government. Those ideas were not wrong. What we see happening now is the next level in the construction. What is in the offing is that the medical industrial complex in league with governmental powers and even religious authorities are using the goose that lays the golden eggs, the trans movement, to generate trillions of dollars of revenue and grant an authoritarian power that can strip any opposition of status, vocation, money, acceptability, credibility, and even a voice. Any peep is canceled as transphobic. If we remove gender from biology and make gender transition a fundamental human right, and we groom a whole generation not only to accept it but also to celebrate it, the potential for a financial windfall for the beneficiaries is not only impressive but continuing. Think about it. Follow the money. Who gets rich off transitioning kids? Big Pharma producing hormones, law firms defending the narrative, doctors treating bodies with medications and surgery, tech companies, medical supply companies, international corporations, the banks, financial institutions, and political rulers getting incentives to legalize it all. Drugs, surgical equipment, surgeries, medications, hormones, puberty blockers, antibiotics, any rejection medications, plastic surgery, technological enhancements, corporate endorsements, genetic ma manipulation, and a whole industry surrounding this transitionalism. As BTIC says in her interview, it doesn't even stop there. If you sterilize a whole generation, you're going to need an endless stream of reproductive services and reproductive technology and reproductive medication. Reproduction gets transferred to the tech sector and big pharma. It's a huge money machine with the perk of power. The only losers are the kids, the parents, and society. Hey, but what does that matter? when there's real money to be made, right? And if transgenderism leads us down this primrose path and combines with AI to take us to the promised land of transhumanism, then the rich get richer, the powerful get more power, and the rest of us are suckers all under their thumb. Also think digital IDs, digital currency, and social credit scores. It's the perfect symbiosis of profiteering and social control. It's the broad way to destruction that we read about in Orwell's 1984. No wonder we are seeing this sudden explosion of transgenderism. The fat cats have figured out how to indoctrinate the ignorant masses for their own wealth and accumulation. And so many children have been duped, and adults have been manipulated, that it has now become the cultural imperative of our era. It is destroying us all while the opulent Illuminati control the world.